Okay, this video I'm going to talk about negation. So what is negation? Negation is something uh, true, you negate it, it will be false. If something is false, you negate it, it's going to be true. Sometimes you call it opposite, basically. Now, down here, I'm going to talk about one event. So let's have an event, so or a statement, actually. I would, I, I would say one statement. So one statement is basically the sky is blue. If I say the sky is blue, that's one statement as you see i can represent as a fee now right now i can say the sky is not blue right now i can say sky is not blue now if i say sky is not blue that means it's not fee so this is just a negation i just did the negation as you clearly see so one statement always have how many cases as you see two cases play over here so um that is gonna give us two cases one statement is giving us two cases with the negation as you clearly see we have done it before actually so if sky is blue is true right away we say well it can be false okay right away you can say it can be false now negation of fee which is a not fee and also negation of true is going to be false and negation of false is going to give you true that's basically just negation so that is how we negate one you know statement to another statement now notice that it's only one letter as you clearly see so it's basically have two options now if something is asked to you given to you and say construct the truth table negation within this negation or the conjunction and disjunction okay so First of all, you have to understand how many different events are happening here. Remember, it's two cases, but only one event, one statement. So one statement has two cases. So one statement, I need a fee. So I'm gonna have a fee here, I have already have. And I need a negation fee. So I'm gonna just rewrite it, copy down here, whole thing here. So that's my fee, that's my negation fee, that is true. And that is false and this is going to be false and this is going to be true clearly as you see now I have this down here right what can I do I am going to find a conjunction so again what is conjunction conjunction is basically and intersection something is touching something is happening at the same time it's dependent variable in case of other uh, you know earlier knowledge you want to connect with here basically this is a dependent one is touching another one actually so uh, this is called intersection actually okay so well do you think the sky is blue at the same time the sky is not blue do you think it's going, it can happen no never ever it's going to be false so it will be a false absolutely it is going to be false it will never ever happen so the conclusion is false now if you are saying that well you know as you see fee and fee not but this time you have f is false and true you know it's not gonna happen for conjunction it cannot be true at the same time it cannot be true so we say this is also false okay now we're gonna move our shift remember we have only one letter as you see so that's why two cases some students say oh i have two letters no this is not a two letters it's only one letter so one statement with a negation so you should have only two choices let's get here if I have a fee, well, it can, it doesn't have to be fee, it can be Q, R, W, any letter in the alphabetical, you know, order or disorder, doesn't matter, any letter is going to work. So if it is one letter, if it is capital, it's going to be different again. So, well, this time we have or, or disjunction, okay? You know, sometimes in sit notation we say union, but all well, this time we say, or, you know, or, or, in this time, well, let me, let me write down what do we say. This one we say, or or disjunction this one we say and or conjunction okay conjunction now what we need we need basically same so i'm going to fill this out here okay i'm going to fill this out i need a fee i need not fee i already had free build it from the left as you clearly see now i'm going to work it out here this one is the sky is blue or the sky is not blue. That obviously it can happen. It's independent. If the sky is not blue, obviously the sky is a blue. 
So it is a true statement here. So it's true. So true false is going to give you false, you know, true. And also false true is going to give you true. Again, why? Because this is a disjunction or 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 independent variable. So one is not dependent on another in order to be true. So it's as long as one is true, it's going to be true. As long as one is true, it's going to be true. So this is disjunction and this is conjunction both has to be true in order to be true so if you let me write this down here both p and q must be true must be true must be true for true okay now anyone for disjunction if one is true it will be true okay so if any p or q is true well i can even write down here like this i think that would be better if p or q if P or Q is true, the answer is going to be true. Answer is true. That's it. I hope you understand. Thank you very much.